you want longevity in coaching is you need to uh, avoid uh, becoming an island and making it like you're the only one who matters and your opinion is the only thing that matters. I think that's a huge mistake. Um, you've got to make some friends who are coaches. You've got to ask coaches questions. Don't be afraid. I remember years ago, I was at a swim meet at a club called Circle C down here in the Austin, Texas area. And there was a swim coach there uh, named Kit Rolson. And I noticed that the Circle C, and I was just starting coaching here in Austin. I had a very, very small team, very young team, very inexperienced team. And I noticed that their backstrokers were just phenomenal. And just, I, their backstroke was just on point. And I asked, I wasn't afraid. Hey, Kit, listen, I don't know everything. Um, how do you get your backstrokers looking so good? And he and Randy Reese uh, back then were coaching the Circle C program. And he says, we do something backstroke every day in warm up. And I just thought about that. And I'm thinking of all the strokes that are pretty much, I think if there's a stroke that's neglected, at least for us in practices, it's usually backstroke. And uh, they do backstroke every single day in their warm-up as part of their, at least they did back then. And it really showed because their backstrokers were phenomenal. So don't be afraid to ask coaches questions. And most coaches are going to be really, really happy and friendly. And they're going to tell you what's going on. Um, don't coach. Another mistake is to still under point number one. Don't coach at all costs. Meaning, no matter what, man, I'm going to give everything I have every single day to coaching, coaching, coaching. And then you forget about yourself. You forget about your family. You forget about your your daughter who's got the recital. You forgot it. You you, you skip dinner, your anniversary dinner if you're married, um, with your spouse or partner, and you say, you know, I, I I'd love to go, but I, I can't. I just can't. I've got this practice. On those nights or those days, find someone to cover the practice for you. Make time for yourself. Huge mistake. I made those mistakes in my past. Um, I remember seeing my kids up in the bleachers up at the uh, University of Texas. We won our first state championship and I did not have them down on the pool deck with me. Um, I jumped in in a celebration jump with the whole team. I look back and I'm thinking, why weren't my kids with me at that moment? So um, put yourself first and put your family first and you can still have the team up there uh, close to uh, that area. But I, it's just uh, speaking from experience. Uh, it don't do not coach at all costs because it's going to cost you. And you look across the sport in our profession, and the, we've got some issues in terms of what happens when coaches go too far in and make it all about swim, 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 swim. So you've got to find that balance, and whatever that balance is for you, find it. And uh, that's a huge uh, piece of advice 